Question number 11, state whether the graph has any infinite discontinuity, jump discontinuity, point discontinuity, or is continuous. So let me take a look at function f. f at x equals, well, the first thing they'd want to do is factor so that I can see the factors so I can tell what kind of discontinuity it is. It's always easier when it's factored, so plus 7x plus 10 all over x plus 5. This is not completely factored yet, so I got x times trinomials factored in binomials, x, x. Science has to be the same. They both have to be positive, so plus, plus, factors of 10 that will give me a 7 is 5, and 2. That's all over x plus 5. Well, this is called removable discontinuity. If you remember, if you have the same factors stacked on top of each other, it's going to be a hole in your graph, which means it's a removable or um, it's a... a discontinuity form. So the function has jump discontinuity? No, nope, it's not that. The function has infinite discontinuity? No, nope, there's no vertical asymptotes. The function is not continuous. It has point discontinuity, that which is called removable discontinuity. So with any type of discontinuity questions, it's always valuable to factor as much as you can and then take a look at uh, your factors to see. Do they remove as a whole? If this did not have an x plus 5 up there, um, for instance, if it were something like x times, get a better color here, x times x minus 5 all over x plus 2 all over x plus 5, now instead of having removable discontinuity, all we would have is a vertical asymptote at x equals a negative 5. So at x equals a negative 5, we had a vertical asymptote, which means it would have an infinite discontinuity at a negative 5. So um, keep in mind there's a lot of different scenarios that can happen there. Uh, we can only test so many, although we've rehearsed others as well.